Hi everyone, my name is Alexia Martinez, first year graduate student at California State University of San Bernardino. And in this video, I'll be going over social space through the application of assemblage theory. Now to begin, I would like to talk about the program that I am using. So I am using Miro.com, which is a collaborative whiteboard where users can mind map their thoughts and build off of each other. So this is really a great tool to note, take and capture, connect and collaborate visually. I highly recommend it to those who want to expand their horizons and try different tools of note taking. So now back to the reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand here. So we're gonna be understanding social space through the uh, application of assemblage theory. And we are gonna use Wiley's et al. 2012 article, subjects, networks, assemblages, a materialistic approach to the production of social space. So we're gonna be using that article. Now, I do wanna ask, why is social space important? So through and examining that, we're gonna to move towards communication. So Wiley et al. defines communication uh, is a spatial temporal recess of arrangement. So communication is an arrangement of space and time for the production and reproduction of assemblage. So these assemblages are composed um, of relational purposes, which I will later, later define what exactly an assemblage is. So this production of, a, of space, Wiley et al. wants to examine the production uh, of space in a given society. So uh, Wiley et al. says it is a spatial organization of the social relations of production, a matter of organizing infrastructure, capital, the built environment, and people spatially for the reproduction of capitalism. So I have brought this image below to, um, to show the rhizomatic structure of the corporate world today and how this is a relatively a, a new construct for the global economy. So um, I do want to ask yourself if how space is produced when capitalism is a predictor of connecting nations, regions, and cities as part of this large network rhizomatic power. Quote, when the relation to any specific place, nation, city, or cultural field has become unpredictable. So Wiley et al. really wants to examine how the social space within a society um, can show uh, assemblage theory and the, uh, the rhizom, rhizome theory as well. So this image provides the rhizomatic subterranean interconnections between different corporations that, um, that are interwoven um, within each other. So next, I would want to uh, bring attention and bring light to how social space is, an, is examined in a non-geological lens. Quote, people are mobile across distant social relations and connected to translocal networks of, of media and information. They may be any constellation of social networks where they are geographically cannot define their space. So this is really where social space comes in, where Wiley et al. wants to encourage looking at a subject beyond the geographical pinpoint that they are located in. So I have brought this image to truly display how this is interconnected and interwoven beyond the geographic um, location but how do we define social space so i'm going to bring in the four basic concepts of defining and analyzing social space to begin we're going to be looking at assemblages so assemblages according to wiley et al is not an arrangement or an assembling it is an assembling for so i do want to highlight how Assemblages can be referenced um, in something that's pop culture. So assemblages are like Legos. Different pieces and elements are able to connect with each other and attach sporadically in different directions. So that's a good visual aid to see how Legos are um, viewed in that way. 
Um, but in this application of social space, Wiley et al. says assemblage is to describe the consistency and effectivity of the molar arrangements that govern certain proportions of a subject's networks and activities. So I would like to think of assemblages as this book binding that holds together uh, subjects, networks, and activities, and their uh, overall contact of social space. So Wiley also adds, assemblages links subjects, whether individual or collective, via networks and activities to particular arrangements of bodies, technologies, and materials in order to do something. So once again, uh, Wiley et al. wants to show how assemblages is basically this book bind that holds it all together. So if we move towards the next concept, so number two, networks. Uh, Wiley et al. really wants to propose um, and wants uh, readers to reimagine networking as assembling. So networks are going to be the center of the model with the virtual links. Uh, that is potential articulations or ties that connects subjects to assemblages. So Wiley et al. really wants to redefine assemblages and add that to networks. So the networks are really what ties in activities and subjects to this assemblage of networks. Um, and they do define three different types of networks, which is social networks, geographical networks, and technological networks. But examining in the activities, it is the things that we do every day alone or with others on these networks are potential candidates for virtual relations to translate then into actual activity. However, we do need to uh, see what subjects are, which subjects are human individuals or collectives that perceive, experience, or define reality from a particular perspective and position within relations of power. So authors are really interested in ways that subjectivity entails lived experience of space and place, which in turn enables spatial practices. So the, the practices within. So I did uh, provide an, an image to furthermore display these four concepts um, of social space. So if we look in the middle of the, the gentleman in the glasses, we can see that he is within an assemblage of people geographically, but he's not connected to them in any way. So Wiley et al. really wants us to examine his social space. So his social space is that outside of his geographical network. So that's what Wiley et al. really wants to encourage is this subject's activities through networks and assemblages from within. So, but let's go ahead and progress towards assemblage theory. So assemblage theory, as, uh, as defined by Wiley et al., assemblage are a constellation of multiple assemblages to which a given subject is articulated. So it is composed of many different elements and made to function according to a certain set of logics. So with that, I did provide um, a, someone else's mind map to truly display how assemblage is, is seen within society and in the context of Wiley's et al. 2012 article. So th uh, their comp incompetence of functional integration force that holds elements together. So their dynamic unfolding quality of elements, as of elements assemblage as a whole. So if we look at this, uh, this example image, so we're going to look at how a town can be viewed as an assemblage. And within an axis of an assemblage, there's deterritorialization and territorialization. So um, really it's saying that it could be broken off and restarted within an assemblage. So uh, it could be organized and stabilized, so like this assembly of networks. And it also could be um, 
apart and then for carried away. So within a context of a town, territorialization could be eating habits, repopulation, food cultivation, and deterritorialization is the war, invasion, the drought, the, the famine, disease. And within that, we also get um, a collection assemblages of enunciation, which consists of a re uh, regimen of stigma. So these are the acts and statements of incorporal transformations. Along with that, um, access. It's also um, mechanic assemblages. So these are the assemblage of bodies, actions, and passions. And intermingling of bodies reacting to one another. And within this town, there's also the linguistic coding of, of an assemblage. So the new media, this, the, the statue law, the social media, along with the material and expressive. So the personalities with this an assemblage and the materials of people, the buildings, the natural life. So an assemblage is just this overlapping um, of forces that are all encapsulated in this book binded assemblage of a town but we're going to go ahead and look at the application of an assemblage in terms of also social space so in the reading of Wiley at all they say assemblages do not directly correspond to traditional social cultural and political entities so essentially these assemblages are uh, subjects are caught up in multiple assemblages there's no one experience that can be viewed as the same as the other so i did provide an example of uh, intersectionality where a subject could be part of different assemblages such as race religion ethnicity age education gender but as you can see in the image provided that there is no true starting point it's just an overlapping circles however no one person can experience the same thing as someone else so for example there could be a woman who is Hispanic, who is a mother, who is a daughter, who is a preacher, who is a neighbor, who is a community assistant, who is a professor, who is a preacher. So there's all this overlapping uh, uh, intersectionality, identities, which encapsulate a, an assemblage. But once again, no one experience is the same as another. Lastly, we're going to look at a pop culture reference such as a selfie. So this is where we're really going to see how social space and assemblage theory um, overlap with one another. So if we look and examine at a selfie, we can see the physical world enter into the social media, the social network world where images are lasting and they're not essentially tangible however it'll out it'll outlive and it'll, it'll be existent and online even when we are not so uh and, and a, a selfie could capture the geological space um that it was taken in and the time but it's transported onto a new media file of of the online so there's where you see that context getting pulled out into this different realm of the networks so in all we have uh, discussed Wiley's et al reading and how they want us to re-examine social space through the application of assemblage theory and uh, assemblage theory is a crossover of multiple different assemblages and with the context that assemblages links subjects networks to activities and it could be overlapped i hope that this video finds you well and hopefully it could better explain the context of assemblage theory through this application of social space from Wiley's et al. 2012 reading. So, and I did provide this um, funny image to display how I had explained my mind map, which was used and made on Miro.com. So thank you so much.